gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that. And hopefully, he gets off to a good start. And we'll see if that starts in this one today. Coming to the plate now, Yosmani Grandal. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Here comes the first pitch. And we're underway as the first pitch is a check swing, but a called strike, 0 and 1. First pitch. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. One and two to the White Sox catcher. And it'll be important to stay warm tonight at chilly 44 degrees here at first pitch. The one two. Left side but well foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Checked his swing there and did he go. No he did not says the third base umpire ball two. A bouncer up the middle. Baez with the bare hand in time. Got it. Now a moment here to check out the White Sox starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Matt, do you take a look at this lineup? I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score, manufacture one or two runs early in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Well, even though these two teams are in different leagues, they do play each other every year because of the crosstown rivalry, and it's always pretty fun. Yeah, and for the players, Matt, they love it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. It's the White Sox nothing. Cubbies coming to bat. A Windy City showdown, and it's on the show. Lucas Giolito is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Here's Javier Baez. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Cubs, the shortstop, Javier. Now the pitch. Baez. Fouled away. Wind up and the 0 1. Oh, watch out. A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes, Cal. Fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And he got him. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Here's Chris Bryant now. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now 
now a swing and a miss and he's behind one and two take a step back right here after three fastballs in a row there is no chance he throws you a fourth got him swinging chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone stepping into the box Anthony Rizzo first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better infield in the overshift here now the pitch this is hit high in the air out toward left center on the run is Jimenez he's there to make the play and that'll retire the side Cubs are down in order we are still scoreless second inning set to go and next it'll be the outfielder Emo Jimenez He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. This is line to left. Schwarber is there and he makes the catch for the out. That is it. The shortstop, Tim Anderson. Digging in, Tim Anderson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. And now pitch on the way. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hayward has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. That is good. So striding in, Leori Garcia. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Hit out toward second. Base hit. And that's their first of the new campaign. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. In now the power hitting outfielder, Nomar Mazzara. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. In the dirt here. Count remains at 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hit hard back up the middle. There's Baez, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Coming to the plate now, Edwin Encarnacion, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Baez is there for it. And that's the third out. White Sox strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around and it's even now at two and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Headed after it is Mazzara. That's a hit. Their first of the new season. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. 
So stepping in Kyle Schwarber as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. He's set. Here it comes. Now the 0 1. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2. 0 and 2. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to 1 and 2. Contreras gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he struck him out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that that's the good. advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Line drive to left. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Bottom of the second here with no score. High and deep to center field. Center fielder looking up, still ranging back into the bleachers and gone. Two run shot to straight away center. First home run of the campaign for him as the Cubs are out in front now, two to nothing. Well, after a long winter and a grueling spring, everyone is anxious to get the season started, but to start it off with a home run, there's no better way to get your campaign underway. He was rounding the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. Into the box now, Daniel Descalzo. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Two out, nobody on. That one's going to find the seats, strike one. Descalso behind one and two. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball, put himself right back in this at bat. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Look out, don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next three two. Oh, there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget about this one. Back-to-back -back home runs. So a solo shot here to left center field. First home run of the campaign for him, and the Cubs have taken a 3-0 lead. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. To the plate now, Kyle Hendricks. The pitcher. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big swings, he's trying to help himself. Cubs pitcher at the plate trailing with a one and two count. Three runs already home here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. 
So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. We'll go now to the top of the third. It's the Cubs three and the White Sox nothing. Into the box now. Lucas Giolito, 9 1 and 2 do up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. The wind up and the 0 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. And it's fouled away. Line drive to left. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. Well, you never want to give up a hit to an opposing pitcher, but when you give one up to an AL pitcher, it's downright annoying. Can't let it get to you, though. And here's the switch hitting catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. A runner at first with no outs here. He yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Rounded up the first baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. Now another 0-2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Schwarber will settle under it to make the play for the first out, as the runner will have to head back to first. So striding forward now, Jose Abreu. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch coming, here it is. In the dirt here, and a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. That evens it up, 1 and 1. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit hard to the right side. To second for one. On to the pitcher covering it first, and it's your textbook 3 6 1 double play that'll get him out of the inning. Nothing doing here for the White Sox. They trail in this one 3 0. And that brings up Javi Baez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And that's inside for a ball, 1 0. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. The 1-1. One, one. Ball even at 2-2. Two and two. two and two now to Baez. Popped him up. Grandal is there. One down. So coming to the plate, Chris Bryant looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him swinging in the dirt. Grandall gathers, but no chance to recover. Bryant is on it first Double after the strikeout. So good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. So one gone in the inning here with the runner at first. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. Oh, and an ugly swing there. It's 0 and 1. 
Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Scott fell out of it. Here's the 0 1. This is on the ground over to first. A dive and he knocks it down. And there is some stick to it of this as they still manage to get the out at first. What a play. The next cub up, Wilson Contreras, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. As a look, now the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Stepping in now, Kyle Schwarber. Now a big swing, and this ball is rushed out to deep center field. And bye-bye, that one's gone into the bleachers. So a three-run blast to deep center here. First home run of the campaign for him. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. d -Row, some days the fellows walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like one of those games. Yeah, but there's a saying going around the dugout right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. Here comes the White Sox skipper out toward the mound, and he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So a less than stellar performance here tonight as he makes the early exit and forces that bullpen into action much earlier than anticipated. Carson Fulmer is going to come on to pitch here and in just the third inning you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Here's Jason Hayward now. A swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Two out, nobody on. Liner in there for a base hit. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a six run lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge though. So now to the plate Ian Happ as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Strike taken up in the zone. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. Another 0 and 2 coming. High in the air out to center field. Garcia is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. But the Cubs do get three on the three run home run. We played three full. It's the Cubs six and the White Sox nothing.